Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So in previous videos, I showed you how to process an image using Imager, and I also used another program, which is a free program as well, called GIMP. However, in the GIMP program, I used a plugin called the Big Given Plugin. It's not a free plugin, but I was recently asked if I would process the exact same image using both ImageR and using GIMP, give them both the exact same settings, engrave them, and show what the results are. If you're interested in seeing the results using ImageR versus GIMP, stick around because we're going to process this image. We're going to bring it into Lightburn, give it the exact same settings, and we're going to engrave it. So the first thing that you need to do is go out and find yourself an image. I downloaded just a random image off the internet. This is the image that I downloaded. It's just of a wolf. So we're going to process in ImageR first. And then we'll take the same image and we'll process it in GIMP. So let's jump over to Chrome. And we're going to go to the ImageR website. And down here at the bottom, you'll see an option that says Upload. So I'm going to click on Upload. I'm going to bring in my wolf image. Imager is going to process that image for me. And sometimes this can be slow, sometimes it's fast. So if you find that it's slow on your side, just be a little bit patient. So down here, you have some other options. We're not going to choose anything else here. We're simply going to go into Material. And because we're doing it on a diode laser, we're going to select Norton. And because I am doing this on a white canvas that has been painted black, I'm going to select the Norton white tile painted black material option. So select that and click OK. Now, Imager in the background will start to process this. Once it's done, it'll bring up a preview for you. Over here on the left-hand side, you have a bunch of different options as well. So if you have some graphic background or you want to make some changes, this is the place to do it. We're not going to make any changes whatsoever. We're just going to do the simple process of upload, select our material, and now we're going to go in and download. So click on the download option, save this as a JPEG, and I'm going to rename this so that I know what it is. And I'm going to call it imager dashboard. So now I have my imager option. Now I'm going to go into GIMP. And GIMP is another free program. However, the plugin that I'm going to be using is around $60. So let's go find our wolf image. So I'm going to do file open. I'm going to go back to my desktop. I'm going to grab my wolf image and I'm going to open it. So you can see it's the exact same image that we just did in image R. And up here at the top, I have this option called the big given. It's a V3 plugin. It also comes in V4. Uh, V4 allows you to process images that you're going to probably do on your CO2 laser. But because we're doing this on the diode, I'm going to select version 3. So I just click the plug-in, and it's going to pull up a window and start to process a little script for me. And it's going to ask me to set up a couple options. So I'm going to select the tile option because we're doing this on a canvas. I'm going to set my DPI to 600. And I'm going to set my max width to 200 millimeters and my height to 200 millimeters. This way we get a square image. Click OK. And you can see that it's going to run through and do everything for me. So now let's just go in and view. And you can see that this has now been processed. It's a negative image. <clears throat> so we're just going to export this out. And we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to call it, we're going to call it GIMP-WOLF. And we will save it to our desktop. Now, on this window, it's going to ask me what my quality is. It'll have a few other options checked here. You can leave these as the default. Just always make sure the quality is set to 100. Click on Export. And we're done. Let's go into Lightbird. Okay, so now here we are in Lightburn, and we're going to go import both of our images. So I'm going to select File, Import. I'm going to get my GIMP option, and I'm going to get the Imager option. Click on Open, and it's going to bring in both of them. 
Uh, you will notice that when you import, it puts them both on the same layer. So we want to separate those. So the first one, we're going to uh, we're going to put it on layer zero, and then our second one is going to be on layer one. So the first thing that we want to do is make sure that they're both the same size. So make sure your lock is turned on. I'm going to go in and set the both to 4.5, and I am working in inches. Let's go in and set these up. So our first image is the image R. So I've already cuddled it, name image R. I've set my speed to 6,000, my power to 6,500. Because we process this in image R, we're going to ignore all of this and we're going to go with what the standard option is or the standard recommendation is for when you process an image in image R and bring it into Lightburn for engraving. And that's simply by clicking on pass through. What pass through does is it ignores everything that you would select in here. So the only thing we're really setting on the image R is our speed, our power, and our overscan. So click on OK. Now we're going to go into our GIMP option. And in GIMP, we have the same speed, same power. Overscan is set to 5.0. I set my DPI to 320. And the reason that I set it to 600 in GIMP itself is I want really high quality image before I bring it into Lightburn. But in Lightburn, I set it to 320. And I'm using the Xtool D1 10 watt laser. My image mode is going to be Jarvis. And you can see I don't have pass through turn on here. So that's the only difference between the two. Image R standard recommendation is that you select pass through. That way you're not selecting any of these options. So click OK. And that's it. We have both of our images set up. We're going to engrave these both on the same canvas. And we're going to compare them side by side. All right, so we're out here in the shop. We got both of our images in Lightburn. And you can see that they are both side by side. I added some text, one for ImageR and one for GIMP. So let's do a quick preview and see how these look. So you can see there's quite a bit of detail already showing in the image R option, and there's some detail showing in the GIMP option. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. And we're going to go and create these and see how they turn out. You can see it's going to take roughly about an hour. All right, so our canvas is done. Let's take a look at some of the results. So on the left here, you can see the image R. And this was processed using the image R application online. We did pass through and light burn. Actually turned out pretty nice. And here is our image processed using the GIMP plugin. So there you go. You decide. Is a $60 plugin worth it? Or is ImageR the way to go?